So let's select a Salesforce org for our metadata destination. And you come to this screen. You can select any previously used username or any type of different org, including Salesforce DX scratch orgs and OAuth endpoints. And then you have a password and a security token. If you have, for example, a custom domain, then you can enter that URL here and so on and so forth. This will let you authenticate to just about any Salesforce org. There's a couple of options down here at the lower left. This lets you load all the metadata documents, which by default is not checked because it's not usually that useful. Uh, your folder-based assets, which are reports, dashboards, email template folders. You can load them if you would like. They take up a lot of data in some situations. And lastly, your package customizations. So those are all the unpackaged assets and customizations associated with your managed packages. All right, so get your desired Salesforce account here and log in. And this screen is really simple. You can just take a snapshot. And what this does is it retrieves all of the metadata from that org and organizes it into a single document. There you go. You've created the snapshot over here on the destination. And there's some interesting options here. So one of the things you can do is you can open a Salesforce browser that'll launch Salesforce on this org. You can also import and export that metadata snapshot. So that makes it easy to save metadata that's been captured from an org and then to import it back as a source or destination for Cascade activities. All right, that's it for bringing a Salesforce org into Cascade.